This is an Alter Trail F62, 66,688. This one, um, different layout to the F60s over there. Um, this one's got a drop down bed and a rear kitchen and washroom. It's quite a short van. Let's have a look at the specifications. Yeah, Auto Trail F Line F62. It's under six meters and it's 3,500, so it's license friendly. It's on a Euro 6, 130 brake horsepower Ford. And driveway friendly, it says. Always difficult to open these one-handed, there you go. Quite a big sort of locker area at the back goes quite a way up, a bit dark in there, and guess who forgot to bring their light? The bike rack area, there's no window on the back, mainly because of the kitchen, and as you can see, the fridge vents are on the back. But yeah, you can see what a short wheelbase vehicle this is. This would be very handy. Probably, possibly as your only vehicle, if you didn't mind worrying about height barriers. This would fit in most car parks. Toilet cassette there. I mean, never, no, there we go. Toilet cassette and gas locker. <laughs> Getting it. There we go. Yeah, room for two bottles there. New filling point, I think. Electric point there. This is on an automatic. Nice to see. I like the Ford cabs, I do. I do wonder why you need to pay more for the Mercedes, but I'm sure someone will tell me a Mercedes is a much better drive. But I enjoyed the drive in the Bailey Adama. I thought it was very good. Very relaxing driving an automatic. I definitely want our next vehicle to be an automatic. I'm sure I've looked at this before, but oh, I'll have a look. Quite a long sofa there. L-shaped sofa here. Got your Ford automatic cab with the larger radio in there, which is nice to see. Nice big display. Lots of shelving up there, or shelving down there. Swivel seats, and above me, you've got the drop down bed. Wonder if we can bring that down. Let's have a look. I mean, obviously, it's got cupboards underneath, so how far down you want to bring it. It looks like it comes a fair way down, but you're going to be limited to probably about there, aren't you? TV brackets there, aerial point there. Nice big window. That's a good size window. Uh, you've got your controls up there. I think they've, yeah, they've locked it, so can't try the bed. But uh, there you go. Extractor fan, nice to see. And into the kitchen. Cupboards all along. You've got an open oh, cupboard there. I'd, Prefer to see a door on that really, but never mind. Got like a shelf you can put your condiments on. Single electric point there. And a swivel tap. Sink. Three burner of Thetford. And the combi oven and grill. Your cutlery drawer comes out there. That's all right. Tables in there. Got a thin cupboard there as well. Okay for your cornflakes, I imagine. 
Yeah. Mm, great big wardrobe. Look how deep that is. That's amazing. Yeah. That's good. You've got a another ladder in there. That's obviously for the thing. And this, um, I imagine that's for making up the downstairs bed. Never short of lockers in an auto trail. More there, not quite as deep that one because obviously the gas must be behind that. They feel well made these covers, they don't, yeah, don't feel cheap or anything, they're just not that keen on the, the light wood. I think we've said this before. So is it quite fashionable? Oh, and a huge fridge, yeah, no, it's good. Full size fridge there. And quite a big freezer compartment. Not the most massive, but it is a bit of a slim line fridge, but yeah, that's all right. And it's Thetford. There we go. Toilet up on a bit of a pedestal. Yeah, a little bit of a pedestal up there, which is a shame. Don't seem to be any need for it. I mean, you could have made that bit higher and just step down into the shower. Yeah, sorry about the hair. <laughs> no chance to have a shower this morning, so it's a good job you can't smell me. And then a single drain, but good size base there. No, you have to step up here. Yeah. I think that'll be all right. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit of a curve there, but I don't think that's a problem. You'd be stepping down into it anyway. I've got bifold doors to close it off. Plenty of, oh, excuse me, that's it. Plenty of light in there. Yeah, yeah. It's good, it's good, they're just not keen. Why'd they have to put those on like pedestals? I wasn't worried it might be a bit too much of a step up if it was all on that level. Yeah, but I mean, if you like your kitchens, this is a really good kitchen. I mean, you look at the worktop space you've got here. It's huge for a tiny van that's under six metres. Yeah. Quite nice, quite nice. Actually, I just noticed here We've got the stops in to stop the bed coming any further than there. So if you imagine, cupboards would be there, so the bed would be there. So you would need a ladder to get in this, unless you can take those stops out, or that stop, and bring it a bit further down. Don't know. I think that would be, make a great two berth van. I'm not sure I'd want four people in here, but at least you have got the seats. You need to take people around. So comparing this with the F60, I mean, it's, this is much more kitchen focused. So if you're into your cooking, and you don't mind that drop down bed. Yeah. And the travel seats. So this is the Autotrail F-Line F68, 65,428. Going up in length a little bit now over the F62 and F60. This is automatic, 3,500, and it's 6.8 meters now, so it's grown 0.8 of a meter. And it's brand new, and this is a rear lounge layout. As you can see from the big windows at the back. Big window there as well. Bike rack, reversing camera. L under locker there, under the seat locker. And you fill in points in your electric. Again, this looks like it's got a huge fridge. Toilets at the front, so the bathroom must be, sorry, washroom must be at the front. And the Ford cab.
I mean, these days it's nice to see vans that are under 70,000. I mean, a lot, so many vans, 75,000 and onwards. Let's see if we can find a light. Yeah, let's point out the auto trail door here with the umbrella <laughs> stand. Let's go in here. And the first thing you notice is, of course, the lounge. Let me see if we can get some more lights on. That's better. There you go. Oh, yeah. Remember this? I think we saw this at the show. Pull out TV bracket. That's quite nice. So you can see that sitting in the lounge. Probably wouldn't want to watch it from the front, so it looks like it only goes one way. That's quite a different uh, take on the TV bracket there. That's quite nice because it slides out quite nicely. Yeah, sort of hides all the uh, the metal work. Solar charge selector. You can choose which battery you're charging with your solar. Well, that's quite nice. Obviously, it doesn't. Uh, automatically decide which one but at least you can you have got the option to charge a vehicle battery if that's a bit low there's the lockers there go all the way around there loads of locker space and it's a great lounge this is I think I remember sitting in this at the show I know you've got one longer bed there and this one's slightly shorter so you could probably sleep as a single there and a shorter person could sleep there. It's a lovely lounge. I mean, you must, you would have a great view out of these big windows here. You can't really see them for the net curtains. But. And the fact that this table comes up, you probably wouldn't need to get out a, a table if you're just having coffee and sitting in here, I can imagine. That would get quite full up quite quickly, that uh, little flappy bit. Uh, yeah. Lockers in the kitchen. Table in here. There's a fridge, same fridge as the other F lines, but good size fridge. Controls up there. Fan over the kitchen. And the same layout as the other F lines, a three burner hob, sink, and combi oven. Nothing unusual there. And up front, we've got the wardrobe. And it's quite a big wardrobe, quite deep, reasonable size. And Toilet's not on a pedestal in this one. There we are. Very much the same sort of washroom idea. And uh, there's no cutoffs in the roof there. Single drainer and a bifold door to close off the area. Quite a nice sink. Locker there. These feel quite shiny, these lockers. Quite a shallow uh, locker there. But uh, somewhere for your lotions and potions. Towel rail. And of course, caught the Ford cab at the front. Okay. Now, this one here got another little cubby hole there. I'm not sure you're going to see that on the camera. Another cubby hole there. And another one there. Because there's quite a bit of space between the seat and the washroom. usual sort of arrangement for the lockers at the front. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's a good layout if you want a nice spacious area in the back. See there's lockers underneath here as well. Yeah, no, oh, that's really good, isn't it? And I think there's slats that pull out. Yeah, more space there. Yeah, there's a lock and you pull the slats out, look them all the way across and make it up with your cushions. Yep, yeah, very good. Yeah, I like that a lot. 